And I oh, just in case anybody clips this, uh, we are reacting to NC Hammer. We were paid four hundred dollars to do this. Yes. Um, there is no bad blood with NC Hammer, except on his I, side. He doesn't like me uh, because I he doesn't even people. know me. <laughs> no, so I'm good. He now hates Troy. So no, he just hot. I'm just here for the bag. Yeah, so was I, bro. <laughs> <laughs> tend to avoid these topics especially if there's not okay. a true right answer one of these topics okay. is weighing a little heavily so he's admitting there is no true right answer okay. let's go so he can't even get mad at us right and i figured well i mean i know enough about the show that i can make an informed opinion that may be correct here and some of the opinions that i say you may not agree with and that's totally fine that's human nature i think it's actually right. important for both of us to realize that a difference of opinion is important you should become the hollow echo of an opinion you heard from somebody you respect but maybe use the information and knowledge that i have access to to inform opinion of your own so with no further ado let's get into he d that's definitely a me and set sneak this what we what talk about the uh use use the information. yeah the shit he was that's definitely like chat do y'all agree that's definitely a six and uh, a six and set sneak this bro here i'll turn up the video Troy death roll this fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny, bro. <laughs> yeah. I fuck with the thumbnail. All right, let's see. The Otsutsukis. All right, hold on. For one, let me rip into the thumbnail. <laughs> Strongest Shinobi <laughs> pointing to Hagromo. He's not a Shinobi. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to, yeah he, he's not a Shinobi. Personally, I wouldn't let that slide. We're not, bro. Ranked. Why is this the only picture people have of all the old Suzuki? Like this video, subscribe to the page, and hit that noti bell. And since we're talking about ranking and explaining, why don't you go ahead and explain to me why you haven't followed what's soon to be the number one gaming channel on YouTube? That's right, it's NC Gaming. Oh my god. Strength, or maybe sometimes we'll fight, or the mangaka will tell us this person is the strongest, this person is the weakest. But the problem is with the Otsutsukis is that there is a lot of very conflicting data. Most of the information we know is either conflicting or non-absolute or is left heavily up to interpretation so while some lists of the ototsuki's ranked by does this nigga sleep here <laughs> what does a nigga there <laughs> why does he have a blanket on the floor <laughs> but but bro th that whole sentence he just said is true for everything all it everything is up to interpretation nothing is absolute th we know this <laughs> but what <laughs> That's his girlfriend? Where? She's not there. Very why is, is she on the floor? On the floor? <laughs> is this her what? setup room? Is that why there's a pink chair? <laughs> hey, he said, yeah, lie down. I'm about to record. That nigga said, get the fuck on the fucking floor. <laughs> 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 no, he about to make a video and be like, they put allegations against me, but can I abuse my girlfriend? At least as far as power ranking groups in anime go. I feel like I need to add the caveat here that I'm only going to be talking about people whose last name is Otsutsuki, which means I'm not going to be... Otsutsuki. What the fuck are you saying <laughs> it like that for? Otsutsuki. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just my body just telling me not to like him. I <laughs> didn't even do nothing to me. <laughs> Including Jubidara or Jubito to the list. Okay. Not Otsutsuki, they're not they're Otsutsuki. They're just Otsutsuki, right? jerkies. So with all of our preamble done, let's get to ranking and explaining. Fortunately, the bottom of this list is pretty well agreed upon. Well, it's actually not necessarily true. It's actually not agreed upon at all. It depends on who you're looking okay? at. Okay? What the fuck? <laughs> Same nigga said this. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> Same nigga said it's, it's generally agreed upon. Actually, not necessarily true. Nobody agrees with it. What? <laughs> believe that the weakest members of the Otsutsuki were Indra and Ashura Otsutsuki. Now, the reason that this is a somewhat okay. controversial take is because there's not a whole lot of information on the strength of Indra and Ashura. Yes, we've seen them fight each other, but we really haven't seen them fight against an Otsutsuki level threat. I mean, Indra and Ashura could be insanely powerful. We just don't have enough information on them to make that assertion. So the real question becomes... What so... You can actually infer Indra and Ashura are stronger than Naruto and Sasuke in the war arc. Maybe not at the end, but you could actually yeah, get them over uh, at least God Tree Madara. Reason being, Hagoromo gave Indra supposedly all of his chakra, and we know Indra awakened six past Senjutsu and or six No, you're talking, about, you're talking about Ashura, you mean. Ashura, sorry, yeah. 
and or six pass sage mode because his QB avatar or whatever avatar he was using, his three headed avatar, had true seeker orbs on it. Um, and he was if he was given all that power, he would be given more power than what Naruto and Sasuke were given. Um, he would be actually just complete Hagoromo plus himself at that point. And Indra supposedly fought with him and they, you know, tied or whatever, shit like that. So you can actually infer he's stronger than one eye Jubi Madara through that. I still think that would put him down here. I'm just saying, you can you can scale those guys. Which of these two is stronger? Well, Indra was the firstborn of Hagoromo. And while he was originally thought to be the proper inheritor of his father's teaching because he was so talented when he was born, as time progressed, things changed. You see, Indra wasn't always a hateful person. In fact, in his childhood, even after his mother was killed giving birth to Ashura, he was a peaceful and loving kid. Hagoromo wanted either Indra or Ashura to be his predecessor in the great sagedom. So Hagoromo taught both of them ninshu, which is essentially half of ninjutsu. Essentially, in order to mold chakra to create ninjutsu, you need to combine your physical strength with your spiritual what? strength. What? Ninshu this nigga, is I just look at chat. Nigga tweaking. Nigga said Kid Goku is MFTL+. Plus. No, he isn't. Spiritual strength. But since we're talking about ninjutsu, we should see. talk about its origins. While learning ninshu, Indra actually realized actually how to apply see. his physical strength to ninshu. Wait, could you not hear me? Ninjutsu. No, I couldn't just and this know. had people super interested what because now fuck? ninjutsu could be used to make life I can't easier. Know that. Mobile Discord be and in the beginning, that's okay. what ninjutsu was used for. Lighting fires, collecting water, those kinds of things. You see, ninshu is just being tapped into the spiritual plane of the world. But as time progressed, Indra realized that people were focusing more on the physical strength building than the spiritual prowess that was necessary for ninjutsu. And this what the fuck this got to do with the strongest shinobi? No, that's what I, I, I'm, I'm just waiting on him to get to the point. He just Pet peeve grew larger loading the video up for no reason. Continually approach him about the fact that he was so talented in creating ninjutsu that one day he'll probably surpass the Sage of Six Pass himself. This got worse once he awoke in his Sharingan and he began to take heed to the words Black Zetsu was saying. This led was just a history lesson. Closed off, more isolationist as he focused on getting himself stronger. And as Ashura and Indra both reached an age where they could take over for Hagoromo, Hagoromo assigned them a mission. Both of them were assigned to help a foreign land. Would y'all be mad if I like skipped some of the filler bullshit? Yeah, I'm gonna say this, this is just a history lesson at this point. Yeah, I'll just, there's I'll nothing even people react to. But no, no. Okay. Bet, bet, so no, you can skip it. No, no, skip it. Skip that piece of For land. No. But when Ashura returned, he brought a lot of old who had also gotten stronger in the years he had been away. And he had also just received all of his father's power. Hold on, six. I'm about to go like pick, my, pick up my food. Yeah, the fact that yeah. in almost every single generation of Indra and Ashura reincarnates, the Ashura reincarnate wins whenever they fight. Hagoromo beats Madara, Naruto beats Sasuke. It's probably safe. Hagoromo beats Madara. I, I think he meant Ashura. To assume that Ashura is actually stronger. Now, the real question becomes is Ashura. Ashura is stronger than Naruto. And if Ashura is. Hold up. Let me put this shit on like two times speed. I'll put it on 1.5 stronger than Naruto, then should he be higher than some of the full-blooded Otsotsukis on this list that Naruto beats in a fight? And while Ashura obviously has Sage of Six Paths Chakra, just like Naruto does, while Naruto was fighting all of the Otsutsukis he was fighting, he also had Kurama. That, in combination with the fact that we've only ever really seen Ashura use what is sort of a Rasengan in wood release, makes me believe that he's somewhere in the region of Hashirama. Obviously a bit stronger because of the Sage of Six Paths Chakra, but not quite as strong as Naruto. The same thing could be... What? What? And if Ashura is stronger than Naruto, then should he be higher than some of the full-blooded Otsutsukis on this list that Naruto beats in a fight? And while Ashura obviously has Sage of Six Paths Chakra, just like Naruto does, while Naruto was fighting all of the Otsutsukis he was fighting, he also had Kurama. That, in combination with the fact that we've only ever really seen Ashura use what is sort of a Rasengan in wood release, makes me believe that he's somewhere in the region of Hashirama. Uh what? Because he used a Rasengan in wood release, this nigga thinks he's somewhere in Hashirama's realm of power? What the fuck that mean? That doesn't make any... Yamato uses wood release. What, and what the fuck the Rasengan got to do with Hashirama's level of power? What? This nigga be tripping me out with his fucking takes, bro. That, just, that shit didn't even make no fucking sense. Obviously a bit stronger because of the Sage of Six Pass Chakra, but not quite as strong as Naruto's. Obviously a bit stronger than... Ha he thinks he's a bit stronger than Hashirama. 
because what happened while I was gone? Sage six pass chakra. This nigga said he thinks Ashura is somewhere around Hashirama level because he uses wood style in the Rasengan. So what do you do about Guru Yamato? But what do you do about that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing could be said for Indra. I don't believe he's as strong as Sasuke, mostly on account of the Rinnegan. As for their abilities, they're just your standard Senju or your standard Uchiha. So that's why they round out the bottom of this list. But enough talking about Hagoromo's descendants, let's talk about Hagoromo's brother's descendants, specifically the only one left alive, Toneri. You see, this to me is where the real ranking begins. Which I guess is a bit odd because Toneri is just a spin off of Hamura in the way that Indra and Asha were spins off of Hagoromo. But he's got the white hair and the white skin and all that, so I feel like he's more Ototsuki than they were, which is weird considering he's way more white skin. Than, Hamura than Indra and Asha were Hagoromo. It's extra weird when you consider the fact that Hamura didn't bring Ototsukis with him to the moon, he just brought regular people from Earth who like happened to follow him. When you see a picture of Hamura on the moon for the first time, it's just a bunch of humans behind him. So as to why Indra and Asha look like humans while Toneri looks like an Ototsuki, I simply do not know. Regardless, Toneri is Stronger than both Indra and Ashura. Um, I don't know about in filler. I'm just gonna answer what he said. I don't know about in filler, but in the manga, it's kind of implied Hagoromo made Indra and Ashura instead of having sex with a woman and birthing them naturally, and that's why they look like normal humans. Uh, but he I did. Think, yeah, I didn't know that, but. I'm I'm trying to recount the filler right now. I don't think they showed Hamura bringing any humans. Of course they got up there, but I don't think like initially on his first travel he brought them. Yeah. But still, I I I don't agree Tony Ari being the weakest or like the weakest past Indra and Ashra yeah, at all. There's a his reasoning it just says Tony stronger than Kaguya. <laughs> yeah, and his, his reasoning was a bit off. He was like he's uh like Indra and Ashra like a, just a shell of Hamura. But just with the white skin and white hair, no, he could be weaker than Hamura. And like after Hamura gets his Tensei gone and shit like that, but him being just a shell, no. Like Toneri has been in contact with the other Otsuki, like Momoshiki and Urashiki. He hasn't. He's in a uh, in Boruto. Yeah, he has. Nah, he he wasn't even in contact with Urashiki. Whenever he came down, because I also got that implication. Whenever he came down, yeah, I'm gonna say that's he doesn't even know. He didn't even know who Urashiki was. <laughs> He just called him he, celestial being. Oh, I thought he knew. I thought he knew that like people would come for him. That's what he told Boruto in a dream. That people were coming. No, yeah, for he him. he knew he knew people were coming, but he didn't know who they were. No, I thought he I thought he knew Urashiki by name. No, nah, he just called that nigga. He was like, "Hey, celestial being, what are you doing here?" Benjamin McKinney. <laughs> so that's what a name, bro. Anyway. Indra, for those of you who don't know, is the last remnant of Hamura's bloodline. Essentially, after Hamura and Hagoromo sealed Kaguya in the moon, Hamura was sent to the moon to keep an eye on Kaguya. And he was like, well, I don't want to live on the moon alone, so he brought a bunch of people. Hagoromo awoke the Rinnegan later in his life, and Hamura awoke the Tensei God. He's later in his life? No. Pretty sure he had the Rinnegan fighting Kaguya. Yeah, he had the it Rinnegan wasn't. fighting Kaguya. Let me, <laughs> it wasn't let me, let me later sure on his life. Let me go to the manga real quick. I'm pretty sure it, whenever... It should be on a panel Kaguya. when they're sealing her. Yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine him drawing with anything other than the ring. Oh, it's on the next chart. I'm tripping. GS is saying he did. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, he has the ring gone. But he had everything at the point. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, the Tensei Gon is a powered-up Yakugan that only Otsutsuki members have access to. And Hamura wanted to use this Tensei Gon to keep an eye over Hagoromo's Earth. Essentially, Hamura just wanted to make sure that Hagoromo fulfilled his will of imparting chakra and peace to the Earth. But unfortunately, one day Hamura died, leaving just the people he had brought to the moon. And as time went on, this population split into two factions. People who believed that because of the rampant war on Earth, that Hagoromo's will had not been imparted to the world, and thus humans should be wiped out. And people who were like, how about we just let him chill? Unfortunately, the genocide faction won, but eventually they died out and left only Toneri. But here's the thing: Toneri has some abilities on him. Toneri can create a green orb that he can use for a lot of different abilities. He can use it to read minds or absorb chakra from people from far away or even just have it explode. He can also communicate with people from afar by projecting his consciousness or entering their dreams. But Toneri had his eyes taken from him as a child, which means he has to perceive the world through sense. <coughs> but this sense is so intense that he can sense things on the earth from the moon. But Toneri doesn't stay blind for long. You see, Toneri actually steals Hanabi's eyes. Hanabi being Hinata's little sister. But the thing is, if you implant a Hyuga's Byakugan into an Otsutsuki, it awakens to a Tensei Gon. And with the Tensei Gon, Toneri was a match for Naruto. In fact, with the Tensei Gon, he was able to control repulsive and attractive <laughs> forces, just like a Rinnegan, except a lot stronger than a Rinnegan. Because with this Tensei Gon, he was going to throw the moon at the earth and while with the Rinnegan you can throw me is that is that true true uh which part he can control attractive and repulsive forces like the Rinnegan 
Yeah, he can control. It. Well, we don't know. He just has a bigger feet than all the running guy is, but yeah, he could. That's one. Once he attracts thing. something, oh, he pulls Hinata towards him. I think he also like pulls Naruto at one point. Okay. Not the moon. He also gets access to a thing called the Tensei Gon Chakra Cloak, which increases his speed, durability, and strength on top of giving him Truth Seeker orbs. On top of this, in this mode, he was able to literally cut the moon in half with a chakra beam. And in this mode, he said he would be able to survive the Earth's collision with the moon, giving him planetary level durability. Oh god, this is awkward. I can't believe I forgot this. I forgot Orishiki, probably because he doesn't technically exist in the manga. Yeah, no, Orishiki is not stronger than Toneri. And I know what you're saying, but, but Orishiki beat Toneri in a fight. First off, no, he didn't. At least not a full power Toneri. Orishiki stopped by the moon when him, Momoshiki, and Kenshiki were heading to Earth. He basically pulled up on Toneri and was like, hey, I heard what happened with the Hugas. That's a tough look, bud. Also, the fact that you want to destroy Earth when we still need to collect the chakra fruit from there is technically you moving against the clan. So, Orishiki essentially hits Toneri with his fishing rod and freezes him for 10,000 years. So, you'd be like, oh, yeah, of course, Toneri lost. That's Toneri with no eyes. You give Toneri the Tensei gun, he is absolutely <laughs> running Orishiki's fate. Well, this is going to be out of order. Why? Let's cover Orishiki in white. Bro, I hate the way this guy talks. I'm like, I, why? I just. <laughs> Hey, oh my god, bro. Why is he running yeah. his fate? Did, did, yeah, I was did he say, body like, him with the Byakugan? Uh oh yeah yeah, Toneri Toneri was eyeless, but he was in base and he just blitzed him with a fishing rod and sealed him in time. Then was laughing and left. <laughs> like t t t I think Toneri's last message was like, "I leave it all up to you, Boruto, or some shit." Like he knew this shit was gonna happen. <laughs> and then what? This nigga's got how many other eyes? Plus, yeah, he has Urashiki form basically. Damn. So yeah, bro. Tony would get fucked, probably, bro. I don't know. Tonary. Orishiki is an anime-only character in Boruto. And let's not get it twisted, he is powerful. Orishiki actually has a very interesting ability. Orishiki essentially has a chakra fishing rod that he can use to sling through incredibly strong defenses and steal chakra from people. He then stores this chakra in a gourd that he can reach into later and eat. Should he eat, let's say, Gara's chakra, he can then use magnet release. If he eats Karama's chakra, he could up his healing factor. And because of this, he technically has unlimited abilities. On top of this, he actually had puppets that he could control. Technically, he has unlimited abilities. <laughs> Because and, and he, like what this nigga just I don't know why shit, bro. There's no. How about it? Like he he really do. I don't know why he said if he fucking steals Karama chakra, it would only enhance his healing factor. He would just have all his Karama's abilities. That's just how it works. That like the person who he steals from, he has their abilities. Threats and from vast distances away. And towards the end of his life, he enters a transform state, a lot like Momoshiki. And in this form, he can generate black receivers and do massive chakra blasts. But his biggest ability comes in the form of his Rinnegan. More in the fact that he can change his Rinnegan to basically whatever he wants. You see, he has a six tome red Rinnegan, very similar to Sasuke's, which allows him to use a move called Yamezo Hirasaka. This is a space time ninjutsu that allows him to travel between dimensions, a bit like Kaguya's ability. He can also turn his Rinnegan to a blue one. And this is also a space time ninjutsu that allows him to warp back time a couple of seconds, which makes him seem like he can see into the future. Essentially, let's say you're about to punch me, I can warp back to when your hand was here, I'll know exactly where you're going. And I can dodge it. And while these abilities are cool, there's one problem. Orishiki lost to Genin Naruto, Genin Boruto, and... Oh, this oh, nigga's a bitch. God. There's no way. Yeah, there's no funny, way yeah. he said he beat base Toneri, but exactly. he's Genin Naruto. It, let, 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 let me hear him out. Now, let me hear him out. Jiraiya is no small feat. And technically Sasuke was there as well. It is a small feat. He's what? a what? fucking Osuzuki. <laughs> he, just, he just hyped up Toneri to being able to take a planetary blast and then said... Jiraiya's no small feat. <laughs> the nigga who only carves mountains. Come and in stage bro. mode. He got beat yeah, by like, base on, dude. Like, right, damn. Well, even though he was incredibly chakra depleted. But at the end of the day, he basically lost to Genin Naruto and Genin Boruto. Toneri cut the moon in half and ran the one... Okay. Oh my god. Urashiki was poisoned. That's yeah. why he was losing to Genin. And... I'm not going to get into, like, this other reason I have, because it gets into, like, this scientific theory on time travel and shit. But, first, I, I don't even think that's, like, the same Naruto and shit. So. Yeah. I mean, you could say that as well. But then, also, what, the, do, does this nigga seriously think Sasuke, adult Sasuke, was struggling with a gaining level threat? Exactly, bro. In the main timeline. Like, Sasuke couldn't just run up to Urashiki, who's gaining level, and beat his ass? Like, Sasuke that shit, and it does, Gaara? It's not making sense, bruh. Like, no, bruh. Wait, wait is, is he now about to go back on him saying Urashiki above Toneri? I guess like he it. thinks Toneri without eyes is fucking gaining level. <laughs> 
strongest form outside of Baryon mode, obviously. Even if you say that Toneri doesn't have a hard counter for Orishiki's ability to change time, the difference in speed in power is ridiculous. Now, Orishiki seemed like he was going to be intimidating earlier on in the series. When they were talking about Ototsuki's Akakiya would be afraid of coming to Earth, he was one of the silhouettes. But when you lose to two Gen... Oh, shit. He's... He... Kagi is scared of Giri. <laughs> and, and, and wait, what makes it crazier? When we first see Urashiki fight, he blitzes and one shot Sage Mo Mitsuki. Oh, and steals yeah. His power. I forgot steals his about power. that. Oh, my God. Bro. And didn't didn't oh he my. fuck up? Wasn't he fucking up Gaara and Chojuro? Yeah, he, he was. And, and, and like they like pressed him a little bit, but he just escaped. And what makes it worse? All the chakra he stole in that gourd, in his final form, he ate it. That was Sasuke's chakra. And even, like, there's some implications it was his Susano chakra or whatever. It's the chakra that weakened Sasuke to a point to where he couldn't, like, uh, travel dimensions anymore. He stole that and ate it while eating all his renegades. Appreciate the And he still shows. thinks, but he no, still thinks this is a Guinea-level threat. Like, come on. A dude who already died and a depleted Sasuke, it's just tough to say you're going to be one of the strongest. Okay, so now to clear up some confusion, we are now going Indra, Ashura, Orishiki, Toneri. And since we're talking about Toneri, it makes sense that the next person on the list would be somebody who essentially has Toneri's whole kit, but did it a bit better, Hamura. You see, Hamura's whole thing was the fact. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, Toneri, uh, Hamura over Toneri, perfectly fine. I even said that in me and Troy's Osusuki video, which you should go watch, by the way. If you yeah. Have. Um, much better ranking than uh, NT Hammer here. <laughs> Hamaru. What? what? What makes it worse is the only reason he's given so far is that it's obvious he should come next because he's just a better Tonary. Well, let, let's hear him out. Let's hear him out before I, before yeah. I comment because everybody yeah. knows I disagree. There's no point in saying anything else. The fact so. that he had the Tensei Gon. He didn't get the Tensei Gon until much later in his life when he ascended to the moon. But the fact that you get it at all is still saying a lot. Hammer is also the first person on this list who has actual fighting experience. Why? Why is the fact that he had it at all saying a lot? You can't make this up. What if it? What if a weak ass nigga got? You can't make this like, up, bro. All you have to do to get the Tensei Gon is be an Osutsuki. Take Byakugan out of Hyuga's eyes and put them in yours. Kid Toneri could have did this shit. ...against other Otsutsukis. Hamura and Hagoromo fought Kakia, their mother, for months until they were able to see... see Hamura a bad six club. <laughs> ...meaning that Hamura is almost <laughs> relative to Kakia. Obviously, this feels like a bit of a stretch because it was a two-on-one and Hagoromo is the more powerful out of the two. But the fact that he could bang with Kakia, who did eat the chakra fruit of Earth, means a lot in terms of his strength. You see, Ham Kakia is weakened when she fights her children. And Hagoromo were the first people ever born with chakra on Earth. But here's the thing: Kaguya didn't know that they were going to be born with chakra, and Kaguya wanted all of the chakra to the Earth to herself. So when Kaguya had two kids who had chakra, she reverted back to the Ten Tails. Because back in the OG days of Naruto Shippuden, a god tree seed would have to fall off a comet onto a planet, and then Otsutsuki's would travel to the planet where these seeds fell off, and then they would eat the chakra fruit of this god tree. So the story that we got was Kaguya descended down to Earth in order to chase this god tree. When in reality, what actually happened was more likely than not, Kaguya jumped Ishiki and then used his legs to grow the Ten Tails that they brought to Earth into a god tree. Is it okay? I fuck with that. Yeah, I was about to say, I, 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 I was just about to say, I actually fuck with him for that. That's he, bro. Only that. Six, please react to <laughs> Gritty Moderate is Overrated video. Uh, how long is it? At least the conventionally accepted but how long theory. it is, The problem Owen. is the betrayal of the Otsutsuki clan by tearing Ishiki in half means that the Otsutsuki clan was going to be looking for Kaguya. So Kaguya started to formulate an army, but while she was doing this, she fell in love with a man named Tenshi, who apparently had some swimmers on him so strong that he could knock up an alien. And boom, two babies. So now we have two fraternal twins born with chakra. So oh, yeah. This is sort of um support for what I said earlier. If you do so think that uh, what he was talking about, where he said Toneri looks like an Osusuki, even though you know he's just like how Indra and Ashura were, it being implied how Gromo made them because which I'm gonna call Kaguya got pregnant by a human as well. Her children look like Osusukis. Yeah, they have horns and shit. I think I literally, I really do think Hagoromo just made those kids. Apparently had some swimmers on him so strong that he could knock up an alien. And boom, two babies. So now we have two fraternal twins born with chakra. So by the time that Hamura and Hagoromo grew up, Hagi had already eaten the chakra fruit, and she had technically already put a large swath of the world in Infinite Tsukiyomi, which is how she got her first army of white zetsu. But the thing is, Hamura and Hagoromo didn't know about any of this, and for a large part of their childhood, they just grew up without knowing that their mother was kind of evil. Until Gamamaru, the first great Toad Sage, reached out to Hagoromo. Gamamaru is the one who can predict the future and told Jiraiya he would find the child of the prophecy. Yeah, he's been around since Hagoromo. Technically, he was the one who taught Hagoromo. 
Hagoromo told Sage Mode. Hagoromo went to Gamamaru to learn under him because they found out what Kaguya was doing. The only problem is when Hagoromo went to train under Gamamaru, Hamuro was abducted by Kaguya. And while Hagoromo was training with Gamamaru, Hamuro was being brainwashed by Kaguya. But Hagoromo actually struck down Hamuro. And the act of striking down Hamuro actually awoken his MS and his Rinnegan. Yeah, what the, like, what, that shit is weird. Why the fuck he get an MS and Rinnegan from that shit? Uh, it's probably easier to awaken since he's and close to the special tag given to him by Gamamaru Mamaru, and Hamura and Hagoromo began their months long battle against Kakia and eventually sealed Kakia as the ten tails into Hagoromo. I mean, I am, I am but I was paid to do this. I don't, don't have anything against Anti Hammer. Of course, being the husk of the tail. Oh, by Gamamaru and Hamura and Hagoromo began their months long battle against Kakia and eventually sealed Kakia as the ten tails into Hagoromo, who later used creation of all things Jutsu to make the nine tail beast and then put together. Why is he giving all this lore? That's what I'm. I think he's just trying to make the video. But that I mean, Hamura was also able to transcend death, space, and time. Hamura is able to project his con- What? What the heck? No. He- You- You lied. You lied. Hold up. What he the fuck you just said? Different from That's what I'm saying. Hamura was also able to transcend death, space, and time. Hamura- There's no way. Death, space, lie. and time? I gotta hear lie. Hamura is able to project his consciousness many, many years after his death to Hinata to transfer his chakra to her so she is able to destroy the Tensei God. This is no- What the fuck? That ain't- That ain't Wait. transcending death? Space and time. That, that's what not transcending none of that shit. But like, bro. Oh, hell, he just said Hamura out of Virgil. No different from what Hagoromo does with Naruto and Sasuke. So while, yes, Hagoromo is more likely the more powerful of the two brothers, Hamura is also not to be messed with. He keeps throwing way. that out there. Like, he, he isn't it even given. That Hagoromo, like he said it three times, Hagoromo is most likely the stronger of the two. Yeah, but that's that's not even true. Like, you can't prove that. You can't prove how Grandma is stronger than Tensei Gon Hamura at all. Yeah, I was about to say he he just keeps saying it. He's not even just, scaling just I... Tensei Gon Hamura. He said, "Oh, <laughs> it's a good thing that he had it." That's a that's a lot to mention. Hagoromo is still probably stronger though. Why? They were relative before. <laughs> Hagoromo got ten tails. To uh, fucking which McCall bitch ass nigga got Tensei Gon. Yeah. I'm a, like got a, arguably I got a bigger amp. Yeah, arguably he did. <laughs> What's up, sir? What's good, bro? Transcend and basically bend reality. That makes you very scary. But unfortunately, Hamura just missed some of the hacks that Hagoromo ended up with, like creation of all things, which is basically how Izanami and Izanagi were created. But we'll cover those much later. Up next, we have an entry that I don't feel great about. I think post death Hamura deserves more respect. But it's hard for me to put him above the next entry on the list just based off feats, especially when you consider that Hagoromo was probably doing the majority of the heavy lifting against Kaguya. So the next Wait, pause real quick? Yeah, I was just about to say, I don't think Hagoromo was coming right next because he said he's going to talk about him much later. He about to have what? him number one. He about to have no. I'm, telling, I'm predicting number one. Is Hagoromo that why he's won. on the thumbnail, bro? Like uh, this? He had a number one or number two because he no. mentioned hacks and shit. He said much, much later. Is this? Oh my Kinshiki. God. So Kinshiki is actually one of the oldest members of the main clan from the Ultra. Okay. I don't know how much I'm going to disagree with it at this point because. The only ones left are Kenshiki, Kage, and Momoshiki, and then Hamura. I know I'm going to disagree with the Hamura placement because he already has them too high. But I, I think NC Hammer is going to go Kenshiki, Kage, and Momo, Ishiki. And that's perfectly fine with me. So let's see. Given how he scales, he might say Kage above Ishiki. Not he might. Long lower ranked Otsutsuki, who actually yeah. served as a foster parent to Momoshiki. You see, it's conventionally agreed upon that Sasuke and Naruto have gotten stronger in Boruto than they were in the Final Valley fight. Now, there's arguments for both sides of this. Naruto GS has six paths mode in Boruto. We've seen him <laughs> use it in his fight against Delta. On top of that, things like Baryon mode and just years of experience in battle have made Naruto stronger than he was. Sasuke has also gotten better with his Rinnegan, but his power up is also kind of a moot point to me, considering the fact that during the Final Valley fight, he had all nine tail beasts with him, and that chakra depletion has been a big thing throughout the duration of Boruto for Sasuke. But once again, Sasuke himself has said that he's gotten stronger. That's just not Naruto. fucking and true, but I swear. It's not as it's not as bad as people say. Was able to fight this adult Sasuke to a relative stalemate in the beginning of the Boruto movie is a lot of points for Kinshiki. On top of this, you take into account the fact that Kinshiki was able to battle multiple Kage level threats during the final battle scene between Momochiki, Kinshiki, and the five Kage. Not that this generation's Kage are the biggest threat. I mean, Chojuro was there. As for abilities, Kinshiki has the Byakugan like every other Otsutsuki. Has shown some of the highest limits of raw strength out of any Otsutsuki we've ever seen, being able to cut down a god tree with the <coughs> swing of his halberd while he was almost dead. On top of this, Kinshiki can absorb any ninjutsu and transform it into red glowing chakra weapons. He can cloak himself in purple electricity, much like Madara and can use space-time ninjutsu to teleport himself places. The reason that Kinshiki is so high on this yeah. is the fact that he fought toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sasuke. Wait, 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 pause? What? He can cloak himself in purple electricity, much like Madara. When? He's talking about when he's doing the body flicker shit with Sasuke. No, I'm... 
Did did moderate do that? No, I don't know when moderate did that. I was about to say, he just said much like moderate. I don't remember that, bro. Might be tweaking. Who might be more powerful than Naruto was in the last? Meaning I don't watch Borso's guy spin their cap. He kept happy. Appreciate the Ted though. He also forgot when Kenshiki like threw up his hand and just cut a mountain in half. Toneri was. Uh, that was a nice feat. Extension stronger than Hamura. There's also the fact that he's helped Momoshiki consume at least nine worlds. I say at least nine worlds because we've seen Momoshiki's planet and there's nine god trees growing. From there's actually sixteen god trees here. I counted them before. From it, which would imply to us that Momoshiki How big is this planet? Nine planets. But enough about Kenshiki. His biggest contribution to Naruto was fusing with Momoshiki, who is actually next on our list. Yeah, that's right. I didn't say Kaguya. You see, this right here is one of the biggest points of contention in the Naruto <coughs> community. Who's I knew it. Kaguya or Momoshiki? A lot of people will say, I knew it. say I stand on the wrong side of history for this. And I would like to preface that I believe that a fight between the two of them could go either way any day of the week. But here then you're stupid. <laughs> All right, go on, man. Like, is he, okay, is he going to be using base Momo? Because if it's base Momo... I don't really disagree. I think it could go either way. Yeah. But he, he, he like he's mentioning people in like different forms. He just he mentioned like a couple seconds of Fuse Momo Tiki, so uh, I, I assume he's gonna use Fuse Momo. I, mean, I want to hear it out. The reason that people say Kaguya is weaker than Momoshiki is more or less hearsay. Obviously, yes, there's the fact that Momoshiki has devoured nine planets. So logic would dictate that nine is greater than one. A large part of Boruto is explaining the fact that not all god trees and not all chakra fruits are equal. Everyone's always talking about how, oh, if I fed Kawaki to the god tree, it wouldn't be as good of a chakra fruit because he's not a full Otsotsuki. And therefore, the strength of the Otsotsuki you're feeding to the tentails to make the god tree to make the chakra fruit is very important. On yeah, uh, that, that's a, that's a, what's good, yeah. Jeets? Appreciate the 20. That's a funny point. Where the Jeez. fuck did Momo Shiki find 16 Otsutsuki to kill? We know the clan is almost out, so he probably just killed them there. On top of that, the amount of chakra leaked from said planet in order to feed that chakra fruit is also very important. And mind you, Kaguya ate Earth's chakra fruit, which was fed by Ishiki, who is undoubtedly stronger than Kenshiki. So is it insane to assume that Kaguya's one chakra fruit is strong? It was fed like half of yeah, by his Ishiki's legs. body. That was void of chakra. What? Yeah. Oh, she was gonna use their legs that much. I don't believe. What the why? fuck you say that shit for, Troy? I, I'm, I'm just saying, bro. That shit they does not fly. matter. Bro. I know. I'm just saying that they, they be flying, bro. So, let's get into why. You see, the reason that people assume that Kaguya is weaker than Momushiki is cobbled together with a couple of points. One, in Sasuke's light novel, Sasuke said that he would protect the world from a Kaguya level threat. People interpreted this passage as that's not that novel, by the way. It's the other one. Sasuke saying he could solo a Kaguya level threat. But the way that I see it is it's just Sasuke saying that he. It's not Sasuke him. saying it, the narrator saying it. The narrator saying Sasuke can beat that Kaguya level threat. The world to the best of his abilities. Oh, really shit. To you. The <laughs> idea that there's a being that could threaten even Kaguya and it's going to appear in this land. Did that mean that well, the day was coming when the peace they had finally obtained would be disturbed? Was the future people were walking towards now going to be destroyed once more? But Sasuke shook his head no. He wouldn't let it happen. He would protect it himself. Like, yeah, the narrator saying that. Oh, but I say, why, why the fuck would he be like thinking about himself? In why the would person? Sasuke say, yeah, Sasuke, he wouldn't let it happen. <laughs> what? You think he moved it? Let me... <laughs> Sasuke wouldn't let this happen. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Let me go get this statement. I think I have it in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, I do. It's in the very old scan server. Here's the statement. If anybody wants to screenshot it, this is from the Sasuke Sunrise novel. But as you can see, and here it is. The idea that there was a being that could threaten even Kaguya, and it's going to appear in this land. Sasuke says that. Did that mean the day they... Blah, blah, blah. Did that mean the day was coming when the peace they had finally obtained would be disturbed? Was the future the people were walking towards now going to be destroyed once more? That's the questions the author or narrator is proposing. Is that what this means? Sasuke shook his head no. He wouldn't let that happen. He would protect it himself. The narrator's telling you Sasuke won't let it happen. He will protect it himself. I had to switch phones. You hear me? Yeah. Fuck. Okay. But. Sasuke doesn't beat Kaguya, bro. Kaguya's respect is too much. I mean, he definitely <laughs> does. Especially later on. Like, that's not Sasuke being like, I can beat Kaguya. But like that's I said, I don't even necessarily disagree with the conclusion here. Um, I think he's going about De quote unquote debunking the wrong way. I feel like it's more trying to convey the fact that Sasuke. The narration's not from the perspective of Sasuke at all. 
justified in protecting the Earth. Not that he's comparing his abilities with Kaguya neck and neck. After that, people say that Kaguya was afraid of the Otsutsuki, specifically Momoshiki, Kenshiki, and Orishiki. And this is true, she was. It's why she made- Oh shit, oh, I got five. Kenshiki's probably going to revive himself, kind of what Ishiki was going to do. Uh... I don't know what you mean by that, but appreciate the five. The army of white Setsu, but the fact that Kaguya was afraid of repercussions from the Otsutsuki for her eating the chakra fruit doesn't mean she's weaker than them. And also, in a 2v1 or even a 3v1 fight, Kaguya probably would lose. And Kaguya knows that Otsutsukis travel in pairs. On top of this, prior to eating said chakra fruit, Kaguya probably was below those other Otsutsukis in strength. And she hadn't bumped into any of these other Otsutsukis that she hadn't seen in thousands of years to compare whether or not she's stronger than them after eating the fruit. But enough about comparison, let's talk about Momoshiki's abilities. <laughs> you see, Momoshiki's abilities were incredible. In fact, he claimed he could be Kaguya by himself, at least the Kaguya that he knew. In fact, Momoshiki's powers were so substantial, he showed the ability to blow. It's seen third person on this and third person subjective narration. Yeah, but the this narrator has the whatchamacall. This narrator has the qualities of a third person omniscient narrator way entire planets. Well, at least extinct entire planets. Nine or so to be exact. The thing is Momushiki actually admits in the Boruto light novel number three that the level of civilization on these planets was quite low. Momushiki is able to fight off the five Kage, Sasuke, and Boruto, and after he fused with Kinshiki, he was able to fight off Naruto and Sasuke at the peak of their powers, at least for a little bit. I mean See, this is why I disagree. I think Fuse Momo is stronger than Kaguya. For sure. There's a lot of things saying Kaguya. Kaguya literally died in the manga. What? You can literally see her die. She dies right here. This is her. And then this is her turning into the ten tails again. And then this is her body splitting apart. She died. And then there's the, the fucking ghetto statue. Kaguya is dead. Narration can be used to convey Sasuke's conviction to protect anything against it. No, that's not. Oh my god. Ignorance pissing me off. Seriously, so I got some questions. What? What questions? Mm. your opinion on Hago scale? I mean, using with Kinshiki drastically We'll talk about that when we get to that part of the video. Gara, Korotsuchi, Chojuro, and Dara, we all in one strike each. But outside of Gara, that's not really saying much. In the anime, in his Taijutsu fight against Naruto, he actually shows off a gentle fist, targeting Naruto's Tenketsu points in vital organs. And this is because, like every other Otsutsuki, he had a Byakugan. But on top of that, he also had a Rinnegan. But his Rinnegan were actually in his palms. And with his Rinnegan, he could absorb any ninjutsu with his right palm and release them at a heightened power with his left. And with his right Rinnegan, he can also turn people into chakra pills that he can eat to extend his youth and increase his power. After absorbing Kenjiki, the Rinnegan in his <laughs> hands turn yellow and he has okay. another one. He can't turn hand. people into those. But he can turn stuff like well, the most is Biju. That's the furthest we get. And at this point, he's able to he make black chakra receivers. Absorbing Kinshiki gives him something else as well. The ability to make Kinshiki's red glowing weapons. And because Momushiki technically has the ability to absorb any ninjutsu and fire back, he has all nature transformations. So all in all, he is an incredibly intimidating foe. Here's my thing. Momushiki dies. Momushiki is killed by Naruto and Sasuke and Boruto, I guess. Not so, sealed, so not so sent Kage. away. Yeah. Well, was, okay. <laughs> what? It retreat, he dies. That's saying something. And people can be like, oh, well, yeah, but they needed hacks to beat Momoshiki. No, they didn't. Naruto and Sasuke beat down a fused Momoshiki until the scientist dude threw a bunch of extra jutsus at Momoshiki and saved his life. They then had to beat Momoshiki. Okay, Look, pause yes, it. Yes, Momoshiki is powerful. But to beat the nigga, they used the strongest hacks they got. Majestic attire. What is it? Susano? They, that's the way they beat him. What does he mean they didn't have to use hacks? In the anime fight he's showing... They use like some of their most powerful hacks. Sasuke uses Amanito. I don't know why I try to say it, but he uses Rinnegan, Chibaku Tensei. Naruto used like Naruto used a full Kurama and Rasengan's too. So, yeah. Why didn't Kage die the first time Hagoromo and Hammer did the exact same thing there? She did die. Yeah, they revived her. What? That's the whole fucking point. Do people just not read? There's no way this nigga reads. Well, but to say he's you, you can't revive someone that's alive. When Sasuke is well. just not true. Now, you know who was stronger than Naruto and Sasuke? Kaguya. And yes, obviously, Naruto and Sasuke and Boruto are about two and a half times stronger than they were in the war. How the know, fuck he do that, man? DMS Kakashi, who has the <laughs> First, the outer virtual armor, and now he's just saying shit. How the fuck he get to the conclusion they're 2.5 times stronger? <laughs> From from his perspective, all they've done is fight weaker niggas. He admits they're stronger. Says, yeah. But then his reason is her beating weaker versions. I mean, no, her losing to weaker versions. Strongest Susano of all times and a strength of 100 seal soccer. Whoa. You are deluding yourself. 
Wait, go back. Excuse me. What did he do? That? About two and a half times stronger than they were in the war. But you know who else was there in the fight against Kaguya? DMS Kakashi, who has the strongest Susano of all times and a strength of 100 seals. Bro, he just be saying No, that, that, that's probably true. That's probably true. The strongest Susano of all time. Yeah, because of the fucking Kamui Shuriken. I could see that. Yeah, but that is his, that's, that's like a hex. He already differentiated hex and strength. He did? Yeah, he, he, he oh, literally said... Retarded. Yeah, I was about to say, he said, like, Momoshiki just got beat by shrink, not even hacks. Hold on. All right, I got I to gotta go get my food. Entertain these niggas. <laughs> okay, bet. Let me be reading chat. Momo Fuse is far stronger than Kagi for one. But you're spitting. If people agree to that, I wouldn't be that mad. This man is just waffling. I'm going to start saying that shit. Waffling. Nigga need to stop waffling. Yeah, in the anime, it never says that she died, but the manga implies it. Nothing more. I think the data book just stated. Troy and Kage are refusing to shake easy. Yeah, GS. All right, I'm not about to get into this, bro. You capping. Troy, are we cool now? Yes, Ryan. Besides, you just making fun of my name. Troy, how much did you should send? A thousand. Why are you saying Majestic Attire is hex? Because it is? It's an ability? Susano and Karamo are abilities. They fuse into a better ability. Troy, why you got me so bridged up? Yeah, they say the same for you. Troy, can you degrade me? <clears throat> Donate. I think Tone would probably beat Kenshiki too. Personally. A thousand, Mookie. A thousand dollars. I'm doing good, bro. I'm doing good. Mm, Ten Ten and Yamcha multi universal. See, he consistently run. <laughs> Sam, what was that an add on to? Mm. Uh, let me go look up for Sam's message. I know what it was. Hagi was sealed twice, not killed. No, the, her being sealed is what killed her. She can be sealed, then die. That's why they had the reviver. You revive the dead. You don't revive the alive. Sam. Troy, you think the Yotsuki God exists? I mean, he's just shown in the manga. He does exist. Uh, I don't know if DMS Akash is stronger than Tosun of the Beach. DMS Akash Susano should be weaker than... Uh, I personally think it's weaker than all perfect Susanos but moderate. Hmm. How the fuck is an alligator talking right now? Die. Thanks for the seven, Josh. No cap. I call you Gator and I'm going to get to you doing it. You had a shit ton of these streams. You really make them better. Thanks, King, bro. You you are such a goat, Josh. I love you. Troy, you made fun of my name on three seconds. <laughs> my bad, bro. My bad. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the 20. AC is gone, Troy. Let me know. Let me know a take you believe in art that most people don't. Make six split this with you, LMO. Say less. Uh, then I most people you don't. will not get a single saying he just said. <laughs> <laughs> a take that most people don't agree with. Uh, do I have any controversial takes? Wait, okay, I do got controversial takes. Well, What's some shit that I say? Uh, oh, I think Mara is about Juvito. Yep, we are gonna move on, bro. We just gonna move on. Like I'm talking about modern nah, without the, the people. Talk to the people. Talking about modern without the fucking god tree. It's because that shit low key implied about three times. Literally, there's one at the back of the uh, volume, volume sixty nine. I think is it sixty nine? That just says Mater is the greatest. No, the the strongest villain the Shinobi history in Shinobi history. Of course, that would include Jubito. That's just that's just stated right there. Um, people like to bring up how Hashirama says he's uh, weak in the Jubito. That's Edo Hashirama, and Madara literally states that the brothers, Edo Hashirama and Tobirama, will never regain their full power or be close. Simple as that. And there's like a couple more statements I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, Madara should, even if he doesn't win, he's stronger. Definitely. They're scared of two people. Oh, I got to sneeze. I'm out of mute. 
Okay. Shit. Thanks for the five. <laughs> for the five. Six, if you are, uh, if you are three. And they got a funny name. Eugene, uh, can you help me prove that data books and light novels can be used in the debate? People say you can't use it because of a mistranslation. I translate it. Most of the data books are officially translated. If they use the fucking manga, That's not true. they have to use the data. That is it? <clears throat> the fuck y'all be using? data book and the fan book are officially translated. What the fuck y'all be doing, bro? Okay, even if it's not official, right? Uh, yeah, you, you should. You could probably make an argument why, like, use different translations, get the context of shit, or if they're translated by a reliable source, you can use it that way. There isn't a way to prove like a hundred percent, but you can just tell them why you should most likely be able to use it. That should be enough. Only because absorption. First, second, fourth, the data book, and the first turn. The baby versus 50 Cent. 50 Cent would beat the fuck out of the baby. Oh, God. I'm telling you, the baby can't fight, bro. He's some 5'6 nigga from Charlotte. I'd beat his ass. No cap. You ready to continue, bro? <sighs> yeah, we can continue. Wait, wait. This last five. Fight a kangaroo. Oh, hi- hippie Dymo. Thank you for the five, by the way. Fight a kangaroo or a buck, both bloodlusted, and you have a sword on a flat, gr- grassy field. I don't even need the sword. I'll fight both at the same time. Fuck it. I'm just like that. I think I could beat up a kangaroo. I think I could do that. But the buck, I would definitely need the sword. For sure. I'll take the buck. Death row. Jubito, why do you keep saying Jubito can stop Ukiyo? Ukiyo are not that powerful. Jubito might just out hex. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Ruby is large country the continental that continental like the country level is safe but the um I think you're talking about the what calc is that Los Vela bro it's some Spanish shit you did talk about that yeah the country level is cool the continental is just white Obito Renegon Edo Moder EMS Moder no Obito weaker than both of them moders. Nerf Naruto versus Kaguya not at her prime. Naruto does a good chance. Does a good chance to win. He just has to be very careful since he can't fly anymore. But he still can create a lot of shadow clones, just not a thousand. I mean I'm about to just say it, bro. That nigga can still fly and create a thousand shadow clones. <laughs> I don't even care, bro. Like people be taking that like too far. Telling you, he can do all that still. He just can't use the Karama abilities. He he's gotten more chakra since becoming an adult because he's growing height. I'm glad you're entertaining these niggas, <clears throat> so I can finish that's, eating. Yeah, I, I assume that's what you was doing. I just got my shit sitting there. I ain't even care. Dark Naruto at full strength gets one tap by Kai again. GS. <laughs> bro, stop. Just stop, bro. Don't to violate Kaya. Yeah. Six said earlier he don't know how she can win. Let me see. I would say weaken Kaguya until she can beam her to death. Probably the only one. How strong is Ida? Ida and Damon are stated above code without limiters. So they, um... Yeah, wherever code without limiters at, they above that by a level. Delta don't even beat Momo Shiki. Oh my god, GS, yes, stop. Please. Naruto characters were able to react to light speed even in part one. I'm not even getting into that, bro. Eight Gates, Red Pill, Bariamo, Choji versus One Piece verse. Yeah. Choji. Thank you for the 20. The five Kage from Boruto and the five Kage versus Shippuden versus Fuse Momo. Well, the stronger team got one shot. It wait, does this include Naruto? If it does, he just wins. But if it doesn't, then yeah, Momoshiki just one tapping them all. Do you think Jubito is Continental Plus? I think he's Planetary, personally. 
Delta the Strong Hand. Why does Ada say she's trash, bro? You talk about her uh, hand-to-hand combat. I think she either lying or her definition of trash is just different. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure Haku in part one is light speed through the ice mirror. Oh, not including Naruto, they get beat up. Let's go, Jubito respect Troy. Of course, of course. Borishigi versus Atreus, aka Kratos' son. You talk about him from the God of War 5 game, or is it 4? I don't think he does anything so Borishigi. But knowing fucking uh, God of War scale, he's a bow and arrow? Yeah. Yeah, (laughs) Borishigi. <laughs> Do you scale One Piece? Mm, I guess no, but I, I know some of the scaling vaguely. It's stated that there are cyborgs above Jigen, including Ida. Her ability won't work on Jigen, so Ida has to be good at Taijutsu. No, her ability would work on Jigen. It wouldn't work on Ichigi. Naruto it and Sasuke work on Jigen. together. Jigen's one hundred percent Osusuki. Oh uh, well, then boom. Naruto and Sasuke together are just stated content. I hate GS. I hate GS. Troy, do you think Koto would work on Nagato? I'll be flip flopping on. I think there's a statement that says, Hired Dojutsu, Genjutsu don't work. That's what I use to say why well, Sasuke doesn't use. Uh, there is it? <clears throat> no. What the f- People made that shit up? That shit's crazy. But that used to be the excuse I used for why Sasuke doesn't use Genjutsu on none of the Otsutsugi. But if that doesn't exist, he just stupid. Uh, Kodo, Kodo probably wouldn't. I, I don't know, actually. It probably would. Hmm. Troy, really let go. Love you too, bro. I love you, GS. Troy, when we want our Pokemon shout out, hit the DMs in Discord, bro. I got you after I eat. The Renegade the gates lower again, Jutsu. Apparently, that's not stated. Can't be in Jutsu. Ten Tails compared to a small planet, then Ten Tails and Trinity will be stronger. Troy, actually, a one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just spitting that nonsense. Gritty Modder is overrated video is six minutes long, so please watch it. Big D, the correct translation... Oh, you got to donate for that bit, though. The correct translation doesn't say the same. All that kanji is not used in the statement. All that said is modern Obito have over on the trend. That is all. True, true. Is Six done eating? You tell me. Why hasn't anyone used the Mangekyo Genjutsu this morning? You see what happens. I mean, I told you why I think they don't. It's because... I, uh... If the statement doesn't exist, I probably would just use it. Hey, Gannon. But I would just assume it's because uh, higher dough jutsu doesn't allow lower than jutsu. No, to do I'm that. not eating McDonald's. I'm eating a vegetable strombo. <laughs> if anyone knows what that is, I don't know what the fuck that is. <clears throat> it's essentially is like in... pizza crust, but inside is just vegetables and cheese, like mushrooms and shit. Uh, like a veggie pizza in a bowl. Really? Oh, mushrooms, a W. Bowl. It's not a bowl. No, it's like a, a fucking... I don't even know how to describe the shape. But that's what it is. Mm-hmm. But, but that's a mushroom W. You got olives in that bit too? No, I specifically asked for no olives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is immune to infinite soup. And Yomi, the strongest visual jutsu. We might be have to look into that. God. That is a version 2 Renegon. I dubbed that myself, brother. Hold on, tell me where it stated. They just packaged it. What can nerf Naruto blow up in one shot? A moon or a planet? Could he even blow up a planet? Wait. They do got that one Karama shit, but could he even blow up a moon or planet before? We know he can hit as hard as it with the AP like adult Naruto, planetary or whatever. I don't know if he had the DC. Yeah, but Six does hate McDonald's, I'm pretty sure. Six doesn't eat a lot of shit. Karama is said to be planetary, but there's no way he is by the feet, not gonna lie. 
Yeah. Statements are just used for things that are going to be replicated in the series. I'm talking about like the AP feats. Jubito has Kamui. I think he can't use it. I think that's stated. There's no proof the Senju became the hidden leaf, but if it's true, no wonder the village hated the Uchiha. Karambas Mountain plus Max. That nigga said he saves Jiraiya. What if Naruto makes thousand clones, has them all punch a planet at once? Maybe if he all made them do like a super massive Biju Rasa and Shuri can do something. I don't know. I just came. What's your impressions on Nick Vids? Who the fuck is Nick? Is that the nigga we reacting to? If that's the nigga we reacting to, he has. Kamui or Trucy Orbs? Kamui. Kagi or Bullies, DMS, Akashi, whatever. All these take that. Kagi, besides the um, Indra, Indra's arrow, Sasuke, and the weird Ashura. Tail beast, whatever you want to call that shit, she should be the strongest. She's probably stronger than them. I, I just don't know. Those are pretty weird to scale. They only scale to each other. That's it. Nick is MC Hammer. Yeah, he's ass. Pain Dark Narsa is Gear 5 Luffy. Pain Dark Narsa. Sasuke didn't negate Tsukuyomi. Itachi let him out. They're talking about infinite Tsukuyomi, Benjamin, I think. Deep Sea King versus Kawaki. Kawaki. Sasuke clap. Uh, Grimjow. Bags. How strong would Ashura mode board tell Naruto be compared to Baryon? He probably would be way weaker than Baryon. Thank you for another 24 metal jeets. This may seem very random, but can you imagine a car turning into a big sword? Oh. I can see a motorcycle because I like DMC. But a car? Maybe some Transformers shit, I don't know. Kagi is stronger than them. They not even above three hot moderate. (laughs) Yeah, stop. You're brainwashing them. The Ocean versus One Piece Ocean Solos. Where is Six? He's been gone for a minute. It, It takes a while to eat, nigga. Thank you for the five, Brent Morlock. Coldest scene in all of Naruto was Madara pulling up to 1,000 Shinobi, boxing them, getting bored, then dropping meteors. Y'all got a colder scene? I think the, one of the coldest scenes is Sasuke walking behind Danzo, bro. Any scene with Sasuke, really. Fuck it. All Sasuke scenes are colder than that Madara shit. I don't even give a fuck. Ain't nobody colder than Sasuke in fiction. Need DMC6? Yeah. We need to go email, uh, you can email Capcom to make that Sparta spinoff. That's what I did. I don't give a fuck, bro. You even think that, uh, <clears throat> the one scene of Sasuke crying because he's yes. a bitch? Yeah. Okay. So you agree? No, you said crying because he's the best written character, bro? Yeah. I do. Are you almost done eating, nigga? I'm done. I had to go do oh, something, yeah. my bad. Cool. Stream, it's a W stream, bro. They go it. Besides the random niggas back sure, here. Sasuke know. is Ishiki's surfboard. <clears throat> Ishiki. Five Kage from Sa- Naruto versus five and five Kage from Shippuden versus Momo. Yeah, that's not including Naruto, by the way. Oh, he would fucking beat the shit out of him. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> This may seem Sasuke was holding back on each car turning into a big sword. Pretty sure that happens in Transformers. <laughs> Coldest scene of our, all of them. <laughs> Modern boxing up 1000 Shinobi. Why are you supposed to Shinobi like that? <laughs> I had just brushed up with it, but I didn't want to call him out. Anyway, we're going to continue the reaction now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sakura, you're deluding yourself if you think strength of 100 seal Sakura or DMS Kakashi are not stronger than any of the five Kage that were present in the fight against Momoshiki. Warak Sakura. What? That's what? I mean, I, I agree. DMS Kakashi is stronger than all of them, but why? Yeah, I'm about to say, but where did that come from, though? Is, is that to say, like, he, he fought stronger people? 
Yeah. Best. And I mean, at best for Gara. You see, Kaguya didn't die against Naruto or Sasuke. Kaguya was sealed. Yes, you she know did. how they sealed Kaguya? Well, Kaguya is not, bro. I hate this. Like, how do you read this shit? How do you read Kaguya morphing into a ten tails and splitting apart as her getting sealed? And how do you read Hagoromo saying, yeah, they're trying to bring my mother back to life, right? As her being sealed, not dying. I, I just don't. Okay, people just misunderstand what immortality is. There's like parasitic immortality. There's immortality via region. There's like the longevity and there's the invincible. Kaguya isn't fucking invincible. My bad on the spelling and walking the dog. Oh, appreciate you, bro. I fuck with listening to streams and shit when I'm doing random ass shit like that as well. <clears throat> I don't have a dog to walk, but yeah. Well, let me go answer my door, baby. Fuck your door, nigga. There's only one of me. You cannot touch my rank. You just can't. Stated she died. That's so important. Kid Naruto versus Bleach. Stop dicky. Nigga dicky and bleach. I'm back. You trying to continue bro. without me? Crazy. Apparently, I was fucking muted, bro. What the fuck? That was weird as hell. On the stream? Yeah, apparently, I was muted. Oh. So, did they not hear any of that? Um, yeah, they didn't <laughs> hear me. But you're back anyway. Um, you ready, Trump? Yes, sir. Well, it's pretty simple. All Naruto and Sasuke had to do was touch her simultaneously. And then Hagoromo used the sun and moon seal to seal her in a moon in her own dimension. So in reality, it was actually DMS Kakashi, Sakura, Naruto, Sasuke, and Hagoromo. And I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but Hagoromo hasn't come up on the list yet. That's for a reason of its own. You see, Kaguya was always strong, but after consuming the chakra fruit, she got a myriad of new abilities. I mean, she hadn't eaten the chakra fruit when she ripped the Ishiki in half, although that was a surprise attack. Kaguya was so powerful that after eating the chakra fruit, she was able to pacify the entire world, which was stuck in the middle of a war torn era. In fact, she pacified them so well they revered her as a god. Hagoromo oh praised shit. Her Kaguya put down a bunch of normal human level niggas. What? Yeah. It must be Madara over the <clears> list. <throat> As the mightiest person on earth, saying that her might was greater than both his and Hamura's combined. Remember, it took Hagoromo and Hamura months to seal her, because just like Naruto and Sasuke, they did not kill her. Kaguya was the first person on earth to wield chakra, which gives her the ability to absorb any jutsu used against her. And if Kaguya makes contact with you, she can halt all of your movements and absorb your chakra. Not to mention that she is canonically the speed of light. She has the highest healing factor we've ever seen on an Ototsuki, being able to regrow entire <laughs> limbs quickly. She can travel- Where the fuck you get that from? <laughs> Quickly? I swear the bitch took like a chapter in the manga to regrow that arm. I swear she did. Bro, where the fuck he get... She's canonically the speed of light. He said that like it's confirmed. Yeah, I was about to say that. Like, we just be scaling her there. <clears throat> this nigga got some inside deep. He got a statement. What are you saying, bro? Where's the light speed Kaguya shit? ...between dimensions freely, quickly, and easily. Her 80 gods vacuum attack, which forms chakra fists around her hands, allows her to crush complete Susanos, and her hair can extend like needles, like Jiraiya, that also goes straight through complete Susanos. Her ashal killing bone disintegrates anything it penetrates, and she has an ability called the expansive truth seeker ball, which houses every chakra nature, and therefore can be used to destroy an entire Ball. world and then recreate it. Yes, Kaguya not only has the ability to destroy worlds, she can create new ones. On top of this, Kaguya has the only ever Rini Sharingan. Yeah, that's right. Nobody else in the show has ever awoken a Rini Sharingan. Not Hagoromo, not Momushiki, Madara? not Mary, not... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he just forgot about Madara. <laughs> oh my god, man. 
What's good, Omar? Of course I remember you, nigga. Sasuke. Sasuke has a six Tomei Rinnegan. It's different somehow. But this Rinnegan Sharingan gives Kaguya the... It's different because he has the Sharingan powers, the MS powers, to be exact. ...abilities of a Sharingan, allowing her to track movement and chakra, which she doesn't really need because she already has a Byakugan, two to be exact. And this Rinnegan Sharingan allows her to put people in infinite Tsukiyomi and travel between dimensions instantaneously. Yes, there is evidence that Momoshiki is stronger than Kaguya, but I also believe there is stronger, more important evidence that Kaguya is stronger than Momoshiki. But at the end of the day... Nigga, you haven't said it! Where's the, what the hell what what happened? happened? I'm, I'm waiting! What the fuck? Does Mito beat Tobirama even without using KCM or Sage mode? Yeah. Mito beats Tobirama as a kid. I like Momoshiki less than I like Kaguya. And next yeah, up, Sudo, finally, we have Ishiki. Now, Ishiki is undoubtedly the strongest Otsutsuki oh. you've ever seen. Sword. Why is Hagoromo over I Ishiki? I knew it. I knew it. Fuck. I knew that shit. I knew that shit at the beginning, bro. Oh my god, I called that this shit. This nigga is tweaking, bro. I called it. came to the earth thousands of years ago with Kaguya. And as the higher ranked Otsutsuki, the plan was to feed Kaguya to the Tentails in order to grow the god tree. Kaguya was sick of being fed to the Tentails, and honestly, who can blame her? So she jumped to Shiki and actually fed his legs to the Tentails. Maybe. Once again, just a theory. Shiki then kind of had to crawl away in order not to die, and eventually found Jigen, a monk who he shrunk himself down and decided to live in the brain of. He then spent the next hundreds to thousands of years, A, recuperating, and B, trying to get a karma marking on somebody. That somebody ended up being both Code and Kawaki. But Code was the recipient of a white karma marking. I mean, that Code cannot bring Shiki back to life, but he does still have all of Shiki's abilities. A what? Whoa, no. Hell the fuck no. What is he wrong is, with this nigga? Code is only stated to have the combat in, bruh. That Cold, all of each is literally is literally karma in the form of pure power. That is literally yeah, like, how they describe it, bruh. He bro, he been lying the whole bit. First Hobber out of Versal, right? <laughs> then Kakia <laughs> Invincible. Now now he's just lying. Nigga said Code has all of it. Code can't absorb chakra. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga wrote the script and said, let me just start lying. Fuck it. Walking and for and what? Now, why do we know that Ishiki is much more powerful than any other Otsutsuki we've ever seen? Well, feats, mostly. Jigen's body, which was heavily augmented by Amado to encapsulate the sheer power of Ishiki, wasn't enough to show off Ishiki's full might. Essentially meaning that while Ishiki was in Jigen, he was limited, which was insane because Jigen was incredibly powerful. Hey, Jigen's so body was augmented? And Sasuke's fate, like it was nothing, really. Well, Naruto and Sasuke had to be brought back from the break. Like it was nothing? He used 100% <laughs> of his chakra on it. And almost broke his vessel. I'm saying, what? of death by Sakura. Amado explained to Naruto and Sasuke that if Ishiki's powers were let loose, he could destroy the world and nobody could really stop him. Jigen, even while heavily weakened after his fight against Sasuke and Naruto, was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kashin Koji, who was a clone of Jiraiya, except the difference <coughs> between him and Jiraiya is that he's a perfect sage. Naruto. I mean, he kind of got beat, but, I mean, when he went Karma 3, G Kashin Koji was not scaling. Remind you that Jiraiya, in the pseudo kind of past, managed to kill Urushiki basically by himself. I mean, Jigen was so powerful, Here he go, literally... Bro. Did he just say Jiraiya killed Urashiki by himself? Yep, he said basically by If anything, Jiraiya did the least. At Ju least Sasuke shocked him. The nigga. nigga's point earlier was Urashiki lost the Guinean. Bro, this nigga inconsistent and a liar. Snatched Sasuke out of a perfect Susana. He sealed a Jin Cloak Naruto like it was nothing. Naruto had to use Baryon mode, which was the colliding of his and Kurama's chakra together, to make a new form of energy in order to occupy Ishiki long enough for Ishiki to die. You see, the only reason that Ishiki lost to Baryon mode Naruto is because the collision of these two chakras and the destruction of said chakra was kind of bad for Ishiki. Essentially, since chakra was being destroyed in Baryon mode and all chakra is connected, a connected punch between Naruto and Ishiki would actually destroy some of Ishiki's chakra. And Ishiki didn't have long to live. In fact, he only had a couple of days. So every punch from Naruto shortened Ishiki's life. And if Ishiki didn't only have three days to live this wouldn't have been a problem for him he would have just lived a week less but he still would have been able to defeat naruto but instead because of the time constraint on his life naruto was able to win and that cost him karama not to mention sasuke got absolutely ragdolled but why is ishiki so powerful what are his why do you mention that <laughs> i'm gonna say it like naruto got beat up too right that playing. was a shot at troy <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> he's able to use space time ninjutsu. Essentially, Ishiki has his own dimension, and in this dimension, noodles is better than yeah. Noodles is twenty times better than this. And he was able to keep Fu and Jutsu so powerful he could seal Naruto. But Ishiki's true ability. Why you call it a Fu and Jutsu, bro? I hate weirdos like that, nigga. It's fucking sealing Jutsu, bro. Hey, God, bro. And his dojutsu, specifically like Jutsu in his right eye. <laughs> The Makan Kosu. <laughs> 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 that nigga geek to be tweaking, bro. Right he did a little accent with it. <laughs> I be expecting Geekdom sometime to call the fucking Kamehameha wave the fucking hermit turtle wave, really. Like, 
I think he did with these like the Kamehameha, also known as the Turtle Hermit Deception. <laughs> <laughs> I love Geekdom, bro. Geekdom is so fucking funny. I used to fuck with his bitch. Jutsu called Sakuno Hikona, an ability that allowed him to shrink himself or any non living object instantly to either half its original size or literally microscopic. But he can also unshrink. Micro. Did I say that? Said I don't matter. He also has an ability called Daikokuten, which allows him to store said shrunken objects in his own personal dimensional pocket. Or he can just put you forever. Well, not you because you're a living object, but like a glass of wine. And he can pull these objects out of this dimensional pocket and put them wherever he wants. And after he pulls them out of the dimensional pocket, he can return them to our original size, which allowed him to fire massive black rocks that you know, they can't proceed. Because he can just summon them yeah. in you. And on top of all this, in his left eye, he has a Byakugan. While Ashiki's abilities may seem less complicated than the other Otsutsukis on this list, his feats alone point him as the top Otsutsuki we've ever seen. I mean, he's so obviously stronger than Momushiki, because Momushiki lost to the people Ishiki ragged but I would love to see a fight between him and post Chopper Fruit Kaguya. I think it would be very interesting. Now, I know what you're thinking. It would be. On this list. And you're right. <laughs> okay, hey, wait, wait. So, so after saying he's undeniably the strong... <laughs> after saying he's undeniably the strongest of all time, like, we have to think this. He then says it would be a very interesting fight for him to fight post Fruit Kaguya. And, and, and then, and then he says undeniably strongest, and then this nigga... Bro, I, I hate when people use this smug ass face to hide a I'm saying, bro. <laughs> All right, let's see, bro. Sin is Hagaroma. And I know what you're saying, Nick, there's no way Hagaroma is stronger than Ishiki. He's literally the son of Kaguya, who's weaker. And that's fair, except I'm not talking about. What? He just conceded. <laughs> what? What the, what the fuck? Nigga just said, you're right. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> You can't make this up. Living Hagoromo. No, I'm talking about post-death Hagoromo, which is why this entry has a small cap. Post-death Hagoromo weaker than one-eyed Madara. Oh, he no. said it. Oh, no, he's a little bit stronger. I'm sorry, a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger. Yeah, but he's weaker than Kage. He said that. Yeah, he said he that said shit. It. Thanks for the five, prof uh, Professor Osiris. Katara versus Zulu. In Avatar The Last Airbender, she been lighting... Lighting spark from Azula's hand before she cast the guitar preemptively jumped in. That's still a reaction feat. I don't remember the the scene all that well, but I do remember it kind of being like Azula was slipping and nerfed or whatever. So, bro, if anyone was to debate this nigga, he would agree with you in a debate and then say, "But he would be like, you're right, everything you said is right." But and like, let's hear what you got to say about Hagaromo, bro. Obviously, Hagaromo after his death isn't going to go off and fight anybody. We don't even know if he has a corporeal form. So he's not fighting. We don't know if he has a corporeal form. But there are a few things about the way that post-death Hagoromo is set up that make me believe he could be the strongest Otsutsuki ever. I mean, he is technically referred to as the god of Shinobi. And I think that's for a reason. You see, Hagoromo... None of the Otsutsuki... Didn't... You know, wasn't Hashiromo referred... What, here is it? Exactly. What, what the fuck you and, on, bro? And, and even, bro, even using it, none of the Otsutsuki are Shinobi. Not one. <laughs> Like many other Otsutsuki, has Rinnegan. Except after death, he has three. A red one in his forehead and two purple ones in... Dude, this ain't a fucking Rinnegan! What's wrong with this nigga, bro? He be making shit up, bro. Hey, this nigga's on a dig, bro. Up. This nigga's on a dig. Bro, there's, there's no, no way he's allowed way. to do this. That is not a fucking Rinnegan. Bro, once it got to the halfway point, he just started making shit up. And why did he, he say post death? He had this shit in the Kaguya flashback. Oh my god. Hold up, bro. Let me just swear earlier in the video, he said killing Hamura allowed him to awaken his, his MS and Renegade. I thought he was referring to that on his MS. There it is right there. <laughs> there it is right there. It's smack in the middle of his head. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this nigga, bro? There is you not no Renegon. That don't even bro. look. That don't even look like a damn Renegon. At all. This shit, even, this shit, it don't even, bro. To me, it don't even look like a. This shit look like a symbol, like one of them religious symbols. It is a symbol. Naruto has it on his back. Oh yeah! Look! Oh my God! You're right. Like, what is wrong with this nigga, bro? See, 
Kuruma, like many other Ototsuki, he has Rinnegan, except after death, he has three. A red one in his forehead and two purple ones in his eyes. And since all Rinnegan abilities are derived from Hagoromo, in that the only way that humans can achieve- What? Is getting... What? No! What is wrong with this? There's no way! No. You're lying. This nigga You're think lying. Momoshiki came to Earth, got a Rinnegan from Hagoromo real quick. Was this uploaded on April 1st? When was it? When was it? May 29th, bruh. This, this was five days Whoa. ago. No way. I was just about to say maybe this was a long time ago when this was the meta. He's a well-informed retard. That's what he is. And since all Rinnegan abilities are derived from Hagoromo, in that the only way that humans can achieve a Rinnegan is by getting Ashura and Indra's chakra together and thus getting Hagoromo's chakra. We can assume that Hagoromo has access to all six paths of pain, limbo, clones, and everything else. What? <laughs> Why does he keep going this far? Why does he keep doing that? Bro gotta take it there all the time. What does he mean? <laughs> Shit. That nigga just said. <laughs> that nigga just said Hagoromo has fucking limbo clones. I'm done. I'm done, bruh. You can't what? make this up. What? Oh bro. Bro, nah. This shit is... This is actually insane, bro. There is no bro, way bro, I could says, be expecting the, this end to this video. There was no bro, way I was bro, expecting What if he say he has Sasuke shit, too? Because it said all of them. Let's see. Let's hear it. I mean, if every single ability is founded from him, why shouldn't he have access to them? Not to mention that his Shibuka Tensai was able to seal Kaguya. And Chibuku Chibuku. Tensai. What the Chibuku fuck was that, nigga? You mean Chibuku Tensai? He didn't do that shit alone. <laughs> To remind you what Chibuka Tensai is. Essentially, it's a sealing jutsu done with a Rinnegan that seals somebody in a gravitational well that pulls all the earth around them to make a giant sphere. Essentially, you make somebody a pseudo black hole that pulls in all the matter around them to seal oh, them in a big rock. Only thing is, Hagoromo. <laughs> pseudo black hole. <laughs> you just taking okay. it there with everything. This nigga doesn't know what black holes are. <laughs> Shibuka Tensai made the moon. And while Hamura did help, I will once again remind you that Shibuka Tensai is a Rinnegan ability. Meaning that even though Hamura probably was helping, it was mostly Hagoromo that sealed Kakia. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, I'm done, bro. There's no way. Did he say twice? Twice, mind you. What the fuck he mean twice? <laughs> what is he on, bro? This thing is smoky dick. Oh my god. What oh the god. fuck you mean? This nigga You're said right. Hagoromo did it mostly twice. You're what? Right. You're lying. Check the comments here, but I'll, yeah, I'll check it in a second. Thing that has access to is okay, everything he's mentioned so far, not even the strongest thing he has access to. Let's see creation of all things jutsu you see this is why he's referred to as the god of shinobi because like most gods <coughs> he can create whatever he wants if hagaramo has a what about to say no 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 i'll pause it what about enough chakra he can make anything he needs he was able to project an image in his mind of the tail beast and use the ten tailed chakra in order to create them not to mention that izanagi and izanami are both based off the creation of all things jutsu essentially by blinding an eye you are able to tap into creation of all things which allows in the case of izanagi a user to rewrite reality essentially erasing your body which is about to die and creating a new one somewhere that's safe but izanagi actually isn't limited to just saving yourself from susano arrows you can bend anything in reality around you for a minute or any amount of time oh shit of how much of Indra and oh shit Hold on, oh, hold on. Shit. A new one somewhere that's safe. <clears throat> Izanagi actually isn't limited to just saving yourself from Susano arrows. You can bend anything in reality around you for a minute or Hey. Hey, this nigga <clears throat> this nigga on crack. Hey. This nigga on crack. The whole verse out of verse. First he said Hamura. Now Hagaroma can do anything <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> Wait, wait, if he can do anything, he can just increase the time limit. It ain't just a minute. He can do, he can just do anything. Let's, uh. Oh, no. Nah. Let's read what it said, bro. Let's read what it said. Oh, no. Nah. Wait, did I go? Oh, I went. I didn't, I didn't go far enough. I'm tripping. Hold up. <clears throat> I think it's 79 when they bring that shit up. Oh, shit, bro. This was a treat, bro. God damn. Yeah, the Izanagi, 79. Anything disadvantageous to the caster, damage, or death can be rewritten. You can't turn on Izanagi and bend reality to your will? 
What the this fuck is this crazy, nigga bro. on? Hey, the dick eating crazy. Hold on, let me. Let me. All right, bro. Let's tell me when you're ready again, bro. Who's cold or bitter? So I was gonna. Uh, uh, right? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. For any amount of time, depending on how much shocker you have or how much. For any amount of time. Or not sure shocker you have. But here's the thing: he wouldn't go blind from using creation of all things jutsu, meaning that technically he has infinite access to reality bending as long as he has enough chakra. And not to mention, like earlier, when I infinite access as long as he has enough chakra. <laughs> this nigga, he's not real. There's no way he's dead ass. There is no fucking way that nigga is dead ass. Nope. Wait, bro, I refuse to believe he he left this video saying he was spitting. <laughs> I refuse to believe there, it. Bro, there's no way he hit in the recording and was like, you know what, bro? And he was he was in the middle of editing it. He was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they going to love that one. Like, he, was like, he was like, I got him with this one. This <laughs> it right here. Facts. Let me, I'll, 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 I'll sneak this set to six at the beginning, bro, because cause six messaged me uh, trying to be cool after what he did. And that's that's just unreasonable. So y'all, y'all, y'all are just bad people. He said, bro, you know, he called me and said just bad people. Like, we're just, we're just bad. <laughs> How, <laughs> Too much damn. negativity. We're just bad guys. What is, bro, I'm not, not only with skill and now with real life, bro. He takes one thing and he just pushes it to the limit, bro. Nigga saw y'all debunk a video and was like, yep. They just bad people in general. And we, pay, we got paid. Hagoromo is also able to transcend death, space, and time to talk to Naruto and Sasuke separately, simultaneously. Transcend death, space, and time. Bro, I'm, I'm legitimately at a loss for words. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I can't say anything. Chakra because he is technically a pure chakra being, meaning that his chakra is woven into reality, and he is a true multi oh. being. What? what? You can't make what? it up. Can't make it up. Oh no! Can't make it up. No way! Can't make it up. No way! You can't, up. you can't make this up, bro. You can't make it up. <laughs> That nigga it just kept getting worse. This, this the layers, bro. This the layers. He said he's pure chakra. <laughs> so, he's, so he's woven into reality. Himself. No, no, no. Fuck that. You skipped one. No, you skipped one. You skipped one. He said he's pure chakra. <laughs> so he so he transcends space, time, and death. <laughs> woven into reality. Then, then he just he just says it. He just says so he's a multiversal being. <laughs> he just goes there. He don't explain. <laughs> he don't elaborate. He just takes it there. It's like it's like it's like you take it's like you you take one step, then, then you like miss a step, then you just jump the whole staircase. <laughs> That's what he just did, bro. You can't make this shit up. Let's see, bro. Got- Let's see. A pure chakra being. Meaning his chakra is woven into reality. And he is a true multiversal being. Because he technically both resides on Earth and the Pure Lands simultaneously. And he's able to siphon infinite. That chakra- don't make you multiversal. <laughs> Wait, he's able to what? He's, he's a- uh, go, okay, I'll be right. Multiversal being. Because he technically both resides on Earth and the Pure Lands simultaneously. And he- that don't make you multiversal. <laughs> bro. Oh my God, bro. This gotta be this gotta be the worst video of all time. You know, bro, I, I think he was mad at you and said and just said, let me just piss him off. I'm gonna do it. He had to. Bro. It's, and the thing is, shit, even with that, he's wrong. This shit crazy. Hagoromo's not on Earth in the Pure Lands at the same time. This he's in one space or the other. Let me show y'all something, bro. Let me show y'all something. This shit crazy, bro. Uh, I forget what chapter it is, bro. I forget what chapter it is. I'm pretty sure. It's, it's got to be like 683, bro. It's either 683 or 684. I'll find it, bro. But we'll see, bro. We'll see. I'm going to show y'all. Oh, it is. It's 683. Look. Hashirama touches Madara's leg. This is when Madara got cut in half by Sasuke. He touches Madara's leg and his chakra merges with Madara's chakra and the Jubi and all of that. And then Hagoromo comes out. Bro, this shit. Um, let me find the like next part of this conversation. Oh, 
Actually, I don't know if the next part is all too important. I'm just going to go to the end of this shit. Go to 91. I think this should be good. I just want to I just want the one statement where Hagromo says he can't reside in this world for too long, bro. He has to go back. Bro, um <clears throat> I feel personally attacked. And he didn't even do mm, this. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Naruto, it is ended. It has ended up as I expected. I have no choice but to trust you to handle this. So he can't do it. This is the guy who can do anything, by the way. He has no choice but to leave it up to Naruto. Because he can't stay in this world much longer. He's going to spade away. And the craziest part, bro, he even needed the other Gokage's chakra to even get Naruto back. Yeah. But he's a multiversal being. Like, what? Um. Um. I'm dissatisfied. To siphon infinite chakra from the pure lands to people on Earth, I was able to summon. There's no way I came back to that, bro. Um, there's no. I I don't I don't even know how to react anymore. But that's where I'm gonna just be quiet, bro. And he's able to siphon <laughs> infinite chakra from the pure lands to people on Earth, I was able to. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I wanna cry, bro. Why? You gotta, Why did he you say gotta, that? You gotta purposely misread. Like you gotta try to not understand. Fuck misreading. That shit's just not stated. <laughs> he was making up shit as he went. <laughs> he said, "I need thirty-five minutes out of this." <laughs> Simultaneously, and he's able to siphon infinite chakra from the pure lands to people on Earth. He's able to summon all of the Kage from previous generations to help him summon Naruto and Sasuke back from Kage's dimension. So while technically you can't really fight Hagoromo because he technically doesn't exist, he's kind of like a chakra ghost. His abilities technically make him immortal and unbeatable. So would he beat Ishiki in a fight? I mean, maybe. Technically, Ishiki wouldn't. You just said he can't fight, <laughs> bro. This nigga, this nigga's he's off dick. He's off no, dick. There's no, no way, no. This way, he, he evolving as the script go longer, bro. It's like he de- debunking himself. <laughs> like he, he going, he like, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know. You know, Troy, Troy. I'm like, I'm so glad you mentioned that. You know what's crazy, bro? When me and Seth were in his other video, he was doing the same shit. He was debunking himself. Seth this said this nigga's got his own internal monologue and fight with himself, where he doesn't really know what's going on. He's like conflicted in the force, like Anakin, bro. He's he black beating his own ass. He's beating he his black. own ass. <laughs> be able to injure him, A, on account of the no corporeal form thing, and B, on the account of creation of all things. But it feels like a caveat because it was only ever achieved after he's dead, and he's more of a concept than he is a person. So he's one with an asterisk. Oh, shit. This nigga just called oh, Hagrum a concept. <laughs> I, he was just a multiversal nigga. Now he's a, now he's a concept. He's a concept. Uh, I'm bro. saying, bro. And that's it. That is all the Otsutsuki's... Woo! Just gotta spend all that bullshit. <laughs> I told you, he tried to be that ass. Look how tired he is. He tired because he knew he was trying to be that ass, bro. His girlfriend in the back trying to sleep on the floor. And what the fuck this nigga got on shows, bro? She on the floor hearing all that bullshit. <laughs> this is new. He didn't have this Itachi figure with me and Seth read to his video. Yeah, and if you did, guys, please, for me, like this video, subscribe to the page, and hit that note bell. And if you really feel like supporting it's me, already already keep just like... and <laughs> follow my other... <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. I didn't even peep that, but I, the dislike is crazy. <laughs> page, NC Gamer 23, where I play video games. Listen, technically, this entire <sighs> list is null and void, because we know an Otsutsuki God exists that's literally just comprised of Jogons, so that's actually probably the real strongest Otsutsuki. Did this nigga just say his entire video was null and void? Because of the existence of one nigga that might be number one, I, I, I can't believe this. Oh God! There's no way. Crying, bro. Why does shit keep happening, bro? It keeps getting worse. We can't do it, bro. Apparently, you gotta read the comments, bro. All right, bet we'll read the comments, bro. Just like. 
All right. Bless up, Kings. Appreciate you. A special, a special no thanks to everyone that's listed right here. Y'all made this possible. Yeah. Why? Why did y'all Why? do it? <laughs> wait, did he say, wait, GS said comprised of Joe Gons. What? To keep you informed and entertained, guys, please. Yeah, he said the Otsutsuki God. I play video games. Listen, technically this entire list is null and void because we know an Otsutsuki God exists that's literally just comprised of Joe Gons. So. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> bro. Oh. We're moving on. It's above us. It's above <laughs> us now. There's it's nothing. Above. There's nothing you could do to stop this nigga, bro. This is ignorance to a to a new level, bro. This got to be infinite or some shit. He didn't read Naruto. This ain't Naruto. I don't know what kind of video. <sighs> All right, Ten okay. Ten was secretly no diff the entire Naruto. His his fucking fans just is retarded. The clan that definitely has a bloodline, despite literally none of their powers healing anything, having, having no each other, or even their the own video that made me retarded. I can't read. I can no longer Ishiki read. Ishiki is hands down the hardest of Suzuki thus far. He can put chakra bars in your body like acupuncture needles, and before you know it, giant poles coming out of your body. Kagi has the most unique abilities, but she lacks combat or strength compared to the others. Momoshiki and Kishiki are pretty strong, but they're basically just using steroids. Shit, this a this right here a better script than NC Hammer whole video. Yeah, I, I was about to say that, that's actually better than the whole thing. Video concept. I want to hear Nick make a character like background and abilities. No. <laughs> Finally, the first Otsutsuki yeah. ranking against I I actually agree with. Personally, I switched Toneri and Kenshiki. Why? The only problem with <laughs> oh god people tend to forget the insanity of Hagoromo's <laughs> true power uh, bro okay his fans are just as retarded bro I just can't do it I can't do it yeah bro that was that was wild you should have just asked for more <laughs> I should have asked for like 10 